Hello and welcome back. In the next few lectures, we are going to learn about a very important concept in service agents, agent context variable also known as session variable and how to use them effectively in your agents. So let's begin with a very basic question. What exactly is a context variable? Think of context variable as memory slots. They store important information about the logged in user during a session. For example, let's say a community user logs into the website and that user is linked to a person account in Salesforce. Now we might want to store the account ID of that user in a context variable so that our agent can use this information when it needs to search or fetch records from Salesforce without asking the user again and again. We will walk through a very simple example of this very soon in this lecture. But before that, think about this real world situation. When your agent is live and deployed to production and multiple users are interacting with it at the same time, we want the agent to know some basic details about the user in each of those sessions. One way to get this information is ask the user directly. But this is not a very good user experience. Instead, a better approach is to design your agent in a way that it can automatically pick up the logged in user's detail like their account ID, name, email or any other custom field and then use that data to ground it responses so that they are more personalized and relevant. Let me show you a quick example to make this even clearer. So here in this org, I have this agent, agent for service agent. And if we go to the context, then we have the context variables in the messaging session. If I hover here, then we can see that variable map to the messaging session object fields, including custom fields. So all the fields of the messaging session can be used as context variable. So by now we know that whenever a user starts a new chat with our agent in the backend, Salesforce creates a messaging session record. And in that some of the information is stored. We can also create more custom fields to store more information and then all of that information can be available for our agent as a context variable. So let's click here on the messaging session. Then you will see that we have around 40 fields coming from the messaging object. So you see here all these are like kind of standard fields like what is the case ID? What is the channel key? What is the channel name? So whenever if you link a case ID to the messaging session, then that you can access through the case ID variable, which channel the interaction is starting that information you can get from the channel name and all this information is available here. So these are all standard field. Apart from that, we can create custom fields on the messaging session. It is just like a normal Salesforce object. So we can create custom fields and then we can add information into those custom fields and all of that will be available here in the context variable. So for example, here I have this field created on the messaging session called patient ID and it will store the account ID of the logged in user. So here in this org, I have created few community users. Those community users are connected to the person account. And I would like to know that account ID in this field because I would like to use that to filter out some records. So right now you see that the agent has access to these three fields because these are included, but you can also add these fields as well. Currently the agent is active, so we are not seeing that option. But if the agent were inactive, we could add more fields here. And then this can be directly used in the agent. For example, right now patient ID is added into one of the included field. So if there is a messaging session record created and there is a patient ID added into that field, then we can use it directly in our agent and let me show you that so I have this topic here and here if you see that I have instruction that if the user asked to show his soft drink order records invoke this action so this is a custom action and this action what it does is it accepts the account ID and it returns all the soft drink order which are connected to that account ID so that account ID of the logged in user is currently stored in the patient ID so now here I am saying that whenever user asked to show his soft drink order records then invoke this custom action and in that there is an account ID variable which need to be passed in that pass this variable patient IDC. So here I'm saying that session context variable patient IDC. So now the agent knows that whenever he has to invoke this action, he need to pass this parameter account ID into that he need to pass the value as patient IDC, which is coming from the context variable. So here is that context variable and how to create this variable, how to set this variable, all of that we will learn in our upcoming lectures. But for now, just remember that all the messaging session fields, the custom fields and the standard fields can be used as a context variable. We can use it in the topic, we can use it in the instruction and we can pass it as a variable to the custom action as well. And now to show this use case in this org, I have created two community users. So I have this user which is connected to this account record, this account record. So this is the community user and this is the person account of which both are connected. And on this account, I have two soft drink order record created. So order number 100 and 101, these are the two soft drink orders linked to this person account and this person account belongs to this community user. So whenever this user logs in and he asks for 
his soft drink order records then basically we should only show these two soft drink order records similarly i have another user and this is connected to this person account new user and here we have one soft drink order record currently linked so so the expectation here is that when this user logs in and asks for the soft drink order records then we should only display one soft drink order record to the ui and let's just see this in action so this is my person account and now let me log into the community as this user so i can click on this button log into experience as a user so here what will happen is we will log into the community site using this user record and here we are and here we have this agent coming up so when i open this agent we see that the user currently logged in is this one which is nothing but this one and now this user is connected to the person account and on that person account we have the soft drink orders now instead of agent asking which person account belongs to you the user can directly say that show me my soft drink orders right right so here we see that it is displaying two soft drink order records order number 101 and order number 100 so the price of that is 25 and the status is dispatch and the price of this one is 100 and the status is open so we saw that for this account we had two soft drink order record so now when this user is asking about the soft drink order we are we are only showing the soft drink orders which are linked to the person account of this logged in user similarly let me try this with the other user as well so if we see this user for this user this is the person account and from here i can log into the community so i'm now logging into the community and if i ask the same question which is show me my soft drink orders here now we see that we have logged in with a different user and if i ask the same question again this time it should only show us one soft drink order record right so now it is showing us one soft drink order record so if i go back to this uh, to this person account we only had one soft drink order record 105 that is what we are showing here so now how the agent is aware of all this because in the messaging session we are storing this account id and this account id is what we are storing in this patient id context variable and then this context variable is what we are passing in our instruction that whenever whenever you need to invoke this action you need to pass this context variable and in the custom action we have written a query that find all the soft drink records which belong to this account id and that's how this context variable is helping us to filter out the record based on the logged in user context